During the past 15 years or so, stem cell research has been a much talked about topic in the world of medicine. The most talked about instance of stem cell research in therapeutic cloning started in 1996 when Dolly the sheep was cloned. Even though stem cell research has many people against it, it could one day be beneficial to the entire human race. Many of you may be wondering, what is a stem cell? According to an article published by Research Markets Limited titled Delving into Stem Cell Research and Its Full Potential Explored, all multicellular living things contain stem cells. They are cells that can be manipulated into growing into many types of specialized cells. They can grow into many types of tissues and organs. Stem cells are found in developing embryos and in the cord blood of infants. They are also found in the red bone marrow of adults, but that kind is only able to grow into different kinds of blood cells. Though there are ethical reasons people oppose stem cell research, there are many benefits. According to the National Institutes of Health Resource for Stem Cell Research, the available organs for transplantation are greatly outnumbered by the people awaiting transplant. By cloning stem cells, it would be possible to make new organs in need and countless lives would be saved. Also, researching stem cells and how they develop will help scientists discover how certain birth defects occur and teach what can be done to prevent them. In addition to creating new organs and teaching us more about human development, stem cells are capable of curing diseases and injuries. They could cure heart disease, injuries of the spinal cord, burns, diabetes, arthritis, and Parkinson's disease, among many others. Stem cell research could be very helpful in the medical field, but is faced with much criticism. It is considered morally and ethically wrong because in some cases it could destroy a human embryo and in many cases requires therapeutic cloning. Even if a person believes this practice is wrong, they should know that the research is extensively monitored and regulated. According to an article titled, Anti-Stem Cell Research Ad Ignores Facts, Unethical stem cell research experiments on human subjects is prevented by federal law. Also, the National Academy of Sciences has set up embryonic stem cell research oversight committees, also called escrow committees, to closely watch embryonic stem cell research. The development and testing of medical supplies is regulated by the FDA to make sure it is done ethically. Though there are some setbacks to research of stem cells, it has many be benefits worth considering. Not only can stem cells cure disease, but can possibly in the future make the waiting list for an organ to be transplanted much shorter. With the help of stem cell research, one day the average life expectancy could be much higher and you or someone you love could be benefited by the uses of embryonic stem cell research.